Hi there, this is Unmesh from Pixim Perfect, and today I'm going to show you how to shape the colors using a secret code. Honestly, it's just a neutral value, but it's extremely important. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So, here we are in the magical world of Photoshop, and if you want to go ahead and download this photo and follow along, check the links in the description. So, this is a trick which I've taught you before, and it's about changing the luminosity of the colors without touching or doing anything to the color, keeping the colors intact, okay? And that is something which we do by creating a black and white adjustment layer by clicking on the adjustment layer icon and then choosing black and white. Now, right now it's making the color black and white. We want to say to Photoshop, do not touch the colors, just touch the luminosity or the brightness of those colors. So we change the blend mode from normal to luminosity. Now have a look at this you get the colors back. Now, you know the whole story, you can just play with the reds and the yellows and all that other stuff. But there's a problem with this. If you reset it, if you set it to default values, if I click on this button, this is reset. Now it's at default value, even the preset is at default, right? So the colors should be intact, right? Just the way they were, but it's not the case. Have a look at it. If I turn it off and then I turn it on, have a look how it changes. So the default, as it says in the preset, it's not actually the default. It doesn't give you the exact colors. There has to be some other number, some other combination, and that is the secret number. So all you need to do, you need to click on the preset drop down and choose neutral picks imperfect, and everything will be normal. So if I turn it off and then turn it on, it will be the same. So it's a great starting point. By the way, I was just kidding. There's nothing like neutral pixel perfect built into Photoshop. So all you need to do, you need to copy all these numbers. So right now, pause the video, copy all this 30, 89, 58, 70, 11, 42. Copy that and then click on this grid on the corner and then choose save black and white preset and you can save it in whatever name you want. I've already done that and that's why you see neutral pixel imperfect. For this case, I'm going to save it as test tutorial fix. All right, and click on save. Now you will see it in the drop down. So make sure you make that neutral preset so that you can get back to it whenever you're applying this trick or technique. Now, how did I find out this number? Well, if you're interested, you can watch it at the end of the video in this duration. Okay, let's get back to it. Now you can make any changes to it if you want to. I'm gonna make the reds a little darker and let's zoom in. Let's see what it's doing to the image. Maybe yellows a little tad brighter, just a touch. Greens a little brighter. Let's fit it to the screen. Okay, the cyans. We can make it darker, brighter, we can go both ways. But if you make it darker, it's increasing the contrast a little bit and I like it. The blues, you can make the blues a little darker. Magentas, not much of a change. So have a look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. Add so much more contrast and fun to the image. Now you can go forward with it. You can add a curves adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. And by the way, I have a complete detailed guide from start to finish on using curves. So check out this video if you want to learn more about curves. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna zoom in and with the help of the hand tool, so this is the hand tool, select the hand tool. If you want to make an area brighter, you will just click and drag it up. So I want to make the lighter waves brighter. So I'm going to click and drag it up like that. I want to make this dark area darker. So I'll just simply, let's say, click and drag it down. Have a look, so easy, right? Before and after, so this is the before, this is the after. At this moment, I can see the mountains are a little darker. So I'm gonna create one more curves adjustment layer, click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves again. Now, with the help of the hand tool, the brighter areas of the mountain, click and drag it up, and the darker areas of the mountain, click and drag it down, like that. Now, you can select the mask, you wanna apply it only on the mountains, right? Select the mask, press Ctrl or Command I, then take the brush, make sure the foreground color is white, press X to toggle between the foreground and the background, and just paint with white on this area, on the mountains. Okay, now this is great, but the thing is, I can see the yellows are very bright at this point. No problem, you can always go back to it, and that's the great part of 
doing it non-destructively and using adjustment layers. So you can open up the properties of the black and white adjustment layer and then you can decrease the yellows even more, just a little bit. Have a look at it, amazing. Also, if you want to add an effect to it, maybe a solid color adjustment layer, add some color tint to it, you can do that as well. So you can create a solid color adjustment layer, click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose a solid color. Choose any color you want, I'm gonna choose red, hit OK. And maybe let's try soft light. So click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose soft light. This is interesting, but it's too much. So decrease the opacity. Just keep it, let's say 25%. So it adds a little bit of tint to it. I'm gonna keep it even lower, let's say 18%, that's fine. So how easy it was to play with this technique and get a fairly good color grading on this image. So here's the before, here's the after. Such a pop, right? Just keep the value in mind, save it as a preset and you're good to go. All you need to do is to create a black and white adjustment layer, change the blend mode to luminosity, and then from the presets drop down menu, the value that you have saved as neutral, select that preset and you're great. Now, if you are interested to know how I found that value, keep watching. If you're not, this tutorial is over. Right, so here's the thing. So we are back to the image and if you have watched my previous video about the concept of difference blend mode, you will understand this. So what happens with the difference blend mode is if I make a copy of the background layer, press Control or Command J, it's the exact same thing, right? Now, if I choose difference, have a look, it will turn completely black. Why? Because the difference between the same colors is what? Black, right? So. If I move it, however, if I select the move tool and try to move it, have a look. You see this strange thing because it's not aligned. So anytime something is aligned and the colors exactly match, it will turn black. So if I align this, it will turn black, okay? So let me show you one more example. Let me just delete this for a moment. If I create a new layer and then if I take the brush and if I take a color, let's say red, and if I paint here, if I create one more layer, and if I paint with red again, change the blend mode to difference. Have a look, this area turns black. Why? Because the reds are overlapping. And the difference between red and red is what? Zero. Why is that? Have a look at it. If I have a look at the values of red, Look at R, G, and B values of red. So R is 255, G is 0, B is 0. The red beneath it has the same value, 255, 0, 0. So 255 minus 255 is what? 0. So if I make this 0, what is the color? It's black. So that's how the difference blend mode works. So what I did was, I made a copy of the background layer by pressing Control or Command J, okay? Then we created a black and white adjustment layer just for layer one. So let's go ahead and click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose black and white. And then we will change the blend mode of this one to luminosity, okay? And we will only apply it to layer one. So we will hold the alter option and click on the line between these two. Alternatively, you can also click on this button. This creates a clipping mask, which means that we are applying this black and white adjustment layer just to layer one. Now, if I turn off layer one, have a look, there's a difference. So we will change the blend mode of layer one to difference, right? So let's choose layer one and let's change the blend mode to difference. So have a look. So this is the difference. We can see it clearly now. But here's the problem. We want to make it as visible as possible. So this is just for visibility. At the top, I'm going to create a curves adjustment layer and just make it as visible as possible. As you can see, so this is the difference. Now we will go to the black and white properties adjustment layer and we will play with this until everything turns black. So we played with this just to figure out which values would work best to make it black as dark as possible. So we tried this with a lot of images and finally figured out the values which would work best. So if I just go ahead and directly select neutral, you'll see it turns completely black. So these are the values which we found after a lot of trial and errors over here. So just for your convenience, save that value and you'll be good. That's how we found it. 
So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope this video not only helped you with the right numbers to get the right colors to begin with, but also helped you getting to understand the concepts behind the difference blend mode and how to figure out stuff, how to find out techniques in Photoshop. And if this video helped, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tip, trip, trip, tip, trick or tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Oh,